I am Vasim Malai, Executive Director of Dhan Foundation. I would like to share my path, the journey which I took in the last 20-30 uh, years uh, in the field of development. When I was in um, I am Ahmedabad, uh, I went through a very interesting uh, self-reflection process where I was just questioning myself, who am I? What are my strengths and weakness and how I would be useful for the society? I think that's a, a critical question which came to me and I went through a rigorous process of exploring myself. At the end of that exploration, I came, it came out clearly that I would be more relevant to work with the rural sector as well as with the poor people. Why? Because the way I have been really brought up and the way I got educated and the kind of strength which really compelled me to make a choice to work with the community. So once I took a decision, I didn't go for a placement. Because I thought my contribution will be more, will be vividly expressed in, in the field of uh, development sector. I had an opportunity to join um, Gandhian institution uh, where I got a real learning there. Uh, primarily, how do we work with people rather than work for the people? If the people themselves take a decision, then they can manage themselves. If the outsider take a decision, then always they will come for a uh, further conflict resolution and the dependence on the outsider will be different and always uh, high also. Negotiation with the community, uh, when you work with a poor community, is very, very important. So it looks like this negotiation is a management jargon, but this is really relevant for the community to take stock of their own ownership and take it forward. So likewise, a series of lessons I really gone through, visioning with them, and um, also how to really make them to contribute for their own equity and ownership. Uh, the savings is their equity. Similarly, whenever you want to have a water resources work like this, you need to really get a people ownership by contributing at least 25% of the money. So this is a very creative process, and it really involves community ownership. That's critical building block here. Uh, so once I really came there, the kind of environment uh, was uh, not much of professional is really going into this field. So we set, uh, a group of us uh, said that we let us set up an institution called uh, Pradhan, then it's really branched out to Dhan now, uh, where professionalizing um, NGO is an important factor by which you bring a professional so that they can contribute very rigorously for the model building as well as uh, scaling up in future. So that really triggered in uh, 80s to create an environment in the organization to support professionalization. Second, create a kind of conducive uh, policies for on the salary so that people can also come to the sector. I think that was a greater uh, kind of uh, Conceptually, as well as operationally, we did a group of us did an excellent work on that. Problems are so many in the development areas, and it gives a greater scope for innovating. I, this is one of the nursery for innovation in uh, development work. We came out with a very interesting uh, thing, build professional to build people. That's a kind of uh, visioning we did it in 90s together, uh, so that you can bring a stream of professional who can uh, change the lives of uh, millions of poor in the rural, urban, uh, coastal, even tribal areas uh, by working with them and showing a model of people to come out of poverty. A kind of model which we really came out is community governance and professional uh, development. When there is a community governance and professional, when they both together, a person coming out of um, management school or a uh, technical school, they can change the whole life of three to four thousand people life in three to five years time. I think that creates a confidence level in the professional that they can do many things. And after that they become a mentor for the another uh, new stream of people to come over there. I think this 
kind of uh, working, creating professional to really to make uh, people out of poverty was one of our uh, greater contribution that uh, there. Uh, nothing is quick fix here. So you need to really walk at least eight to ten years to see the sustainable result. You can quick results, you can do it in two, three years, but we never know it's really sustainable. So always uh, the development initiative requires at least a decade of uh, engagement which makes people to really self-confident and take it forward in that. And currently, uh, we as an institution have grown from uh, strength to strength. It's not an individual effort. It is not only a single institutional effort. It's a collaborative effort and collective effort of uh, Dhanites as well as the community and also the banker and the mainstream institution. Because these three things come together to make a greater impact and for scaling up. So when you look at the, the kind of success of this uh, Dhan for the last uh, 17 years, one primary factor is our clarity of the principle and philosophy is a founding stone for our success. Uh, mainly uh, the kind of Gandhian approach is very critical and bringing professional to really work in the uh, grassroots is one of our uh, contributing factor. And not only that, we also really enable the community for their self-management. That's a core uh, of our contribution. Thirdly, the collaboration is a mainstay for, because island, uh, you can't create an island of uh, prosperity. So you need to really go for a long-term working with many people. Fourthly, it should be thematic. We can't really do many things at a single point in time. Through that, uh, people let get confused. So take a one theme of development where people can get uh, capacity to really absorb and then they can diversify into other themes. So we are thematic and primarily to start with the livelihood programs. These are the founding principles which really make, made us uh, really to go in a larger framework. Our core values are really a uh, rock, our foundation rock for to really do that. Any Danite has to express these uh, six core values in their uh, walks of life. Oh, primarily the grassroots action. Action precedes everything for us. So we need to not just a planner or a talker. So let us really do it. Uh, like what Gandhiji, Gandhiji says, no? be the change you want to see in this world. So you start from you, the, the action so that it really brings a lot more changes in your um, development field. Secondly, we say that it's an enabling. Uh, don't disable people by doing yourself. So you enable them to do it themselves. I think that a lot of activities are available for them to really go through this process. So enabling is a critical role. Then we collaborate with, as I said earlier, the collaboration is our uh, core value. Fourthly, whatever you do, you do it in an excellent way. I think the best, so that uh, you can really always challenge yourself, challenge uh, the new next uh, benchmarking, all those standards, that's another uh, uh, value which you really cherish. Innovation is part of our like, kind of DNA of uh, Don. So always, whatever the established program or new program, we keep innovating uh, new, new, small, small elements. Here I would like to say that uh, small things are very important for perfection. But perfection is not the small thing. I think many times we think that it's too small to uh, really attend to it. Always we really get into generalities. Generality is not going to lead us to. So I think the devil is in the detail. So the uh, small, small things made into perfection is very important for practical action. But that perfection is not a small thing. So many people have to archest or harmonize a lot of work uh, together in that. The other um, uh, core value of uh, self-regulation uh, is to really not to really depend upon outsider. So you regulate yourself. These are the values as well as principle. So uh, founding uh, principle for our success. So other factors of success is basically uh, working with other institutions, learning from others. It's not that uh, we learn everything from I. So going around and not only in the Indian, global level also. We are also becoming a leading uh, uh, capacity builder, not only in India for outsider, in enabling in the community banking as well as water program. So we have a series of programs which uh, really provides scope for 
professional to innovate and really contribute for that. The success depends upon the attitude. If there is the right kind of attitude for this work, then all the skill and um, knowledge will come automatically. I think this needs a kind of attitude and also the clarity of purpose in life should be very clear so that you identify with the community. Community first or community is a God. Like in corporate sector, we say that community is the, the consumer is the God. Here also the same uh, factor of the poor community is the uh, for first. And the more you really get tuned to it, passionate about it, and many other things follows that. I think the attitude plays a critical role here. Now, we are now reaching out to almost 14 states with uh, 1.3 million and we really reached 2 million or 3 million families. Probably we reach a 10 million uh, population in a two to three years time. We are really going to focus more on self-growth. So one institution of uh, people institution to promote another institution or uh, within the same institution you saturate more groups, giants with the leaders and other things with the cost effective methodologies. That's we find it's a very important uh, way forward for us. Plus community financing is going to be the new form of things in the future. Like uh, once the community is self-sustainable, they want to repay their gratitude by promoting another one. And not only that, and they want to diversify into education or health by their own fund and collaborating with the local government system. Great space is available and uh, the professionals from IIM, IITs or from engineering or medical or veterinarian or agriculture, all people have a lot of space here to really uh, they can really exp explore as well as uh, flower in this whole uh, atmosphere where our calling is for people like you should really explore this as an alternative uh, contribution and it has a self-fulfilling as well as you make many people's life uh, different. I'm not saying that uh, only this is, wherever you are there, you are in a corporate sector there, now CSR provides another arm also. Please put your energy and also part of your energy as volunteer to really in the shaping the mankind and uh, poverty is the, has to go out of our country.